this is Harry Judd for Boxing Social in association with Bet Fred here for the Joyce and Joseph Parker. Wayne, I'm delighted to be joined by Carl Frampton. First of all, Carl, how are we? I'm doing okay, mate. I'm looking forward to a great bill, and I think that the main fight is, is going to be a, a cracker. Yeah, I've been busy doing the media week. Uh, well, some obviously the behind the scenes stuff we've seen about the, this fight. Obviously, the media day today, you'll be there at fight week, hopefully on Saturday as well. But also, you're also filming a documentary for BBC. Talk to me about that, mate. Yeah, it's a, it's a documentary on um, young males with, and their mental health. And um, I think it's an important documentary. Um, I was approached to, to take part in this quite a while ago, and, and I was more than happy to do so. I think it's something that needs highlighted. and where I'm from in, in, in Belfast, the suicide and self-harming rates in West Belfast and North Belfast in particular are, are off the scale and um, we need to find out why these things are happening and um, I think it's a, a, it's a documentary that will kind of open a few people's eyes and we've had a lot of good people on to being open and honest which is important too um, and I think it's something that um, it's needed, you know, it's needed to be talked about. In terms of you, when does this documentary air and what have you learned about it? Oh, I don't know. I think they're talking about before the end of the year at some point, so I don't have a specific date. But we're still in the middle of it. I've only really started it, if I'm being honest. So um, we've probably got a, you know, maybe done a quarter of what we need to do. So um, it's just been really interesting for me to just, to, to, you know, I kind of have an idea of some of the issues that, that that's causing um, the, the kind of self-harm and suicide rates that, that are happening in, in Belfast but um, it's nice to, to speak to some of the guys that have had issues um, and then again like I said they've been very very open. Massive fight though this weekend, um, credit for both men for not sitting on where they are in their positions, for waiting for a mandatory shot, both of them are taking this fight, got to give them some respect in that Carl. Yeah I said that um, it's both guys didn't necessarily have to take this fight. Um, Joyce's last fight was against Christian Hammer. He could have fought someone of that type of caliber again and, and maybe got a shot at one of the top guys after it. Um, but credit to him, he's fighting Joseph Parker. And, and same for, for, for Parker. He could have done the same and sat on the sidelines and just waited. Um, but credit to both guys. And I think the winner will be in line for some huge opportunities. It's not the end for the loser either because they're fighting at such a high level. But the winner certainly goes on. Um, to fight one of the top boys and you know we're talking about Usyk we're talking about the winner of AJ Fury talking about Wilder maybe as well um, huge fights and, and huge money for them as well you have been filming the behind the scenes stuff obviously the gloves well similar to the gloves are off you sat down with them what have you learned being in their company um, that they're both extremely confident that they're both relaxed as well no real needle they both know that this is going to be a difficult fight but both guys are up for it and, and both think that they can win the fight. I think what's what's good and what's interesting about it is that both of them understand that it's going to be a difficult fight. And for that reason, I think both of them will have really prepared hard um, in the gym, which is essential for the winner. Really difficult one to call, yeah. really difficult one. And I have been sitting on the fence. I was asked her, who's going to win the fight if you had a, a, a pound? I think if I had a pound, I'd put it on a draw. I think it's going to be that close. But if you ask me for a winner, just about edge Parker on points. And why would you say that, Carl? I, I think that it, it, it's a fight of two halves. I think he'll, he'll win the first half. I think Joyce will win the second half. But will Parker do enough to steal around in the second half somewhere? And I think that literally that's how close it's going to be. How much of an influence do you think Andy Lee and Tyson Fury are having on this fight for Parker? Huge influence. I think Andy Lee is... There's not many trainers like Andy Lee. Boxing is the easiest game in the world for, for people to get a job out of and you know you don't necessarily have had the box at any sort of level to be involved and be in the corner of world title fights and big fights Andy Lee is from the old school he is full of wisdom beyond his years and I think he's a teacher and there's not many left in this game I think most of them are you know there's a lot of guys that look good holding the pads or whatever but Andy Lee will be a huge I think he has an important role in this fight, and I think he's been a, a hugely positive impact on uh, on Joseph Parker's career, as has Tyson Fury. Both are weighing in. We've just seen the heaviest in their careers. Who does that favour? I don't know who it favours. I think it 
I think it means that both guys understand it's going to be a difficult fight. Um, they know at some point they're going to have to stand and trade. I expect um, Parker to, to use his speed and angles, certainly for a while, but it's difficult to do that when you've got someone like Joe Joyce just marching forward all night. Um, but I think that kind of indicates that both guys understand that at some stage they're going to have to stand and fight. You mentioned Joe Joyce coming forward. There's been a lot of talk about him and his style. Um, Joe Joyce has arguably been disrespected throughout his career. He's an incredible boxer, uh, got a great amateur pedigree. Um, you know, how does Joe Joyce beat Joseph Parker in this fight? I, well, I, I think we know what to expect from Joe Joyce. I think Joseph Parker knows what to expect from him. It's just going to, you know, the juggernaut is his, is his name and, and that's his sort of style that he fights. He's just head first, he takes shots to land his own. He's extremely fit. Um, and we've seen that from fight one to fight 14. Um, Nothing's changed. I don't think we're going to see anything change here tomorrow night. I think it'll just be more of the same. Joe Joyce marching forward. And whether Parker can deal with that or not, it's still to be seen. Um, but I just can't see anything other than a, a cracking fight. There has been a lot of critics about this being pay-per-view. You know, is this a pay-per-view fight in your eyes, Carl? Um, yeah, I think it is. I think if you, if you talk about fights of, of high quality, fights that are going to be exciting fights, that are going to get you on the edge of your seat, this fight is a quality fight. I, like I said, I don't see it being anything other than a smashing fight. And the undercard matches up as well. It's a, an amazing undercard with a lot of talent on it, a lot of well-matched fights, and you've got a, you know, an all-time great in Amanda Serrano as well on the undercard. So, um, yeah, it's a, there's been much worse pay-per-views. Your fellow countryman, Anthony Kagaji, for the IBO featherweight title. Just give me your thoughts on that one, mate. It's a, it's a good fight. I think it, that Anto... Uh, has a huge opportunity here. The Shane, I think, has a huge shop window for him. Uh, Magnesi, Magnesi, is not how I say, am I saying that right? <laughs> Don't ask me. Yeah. He's, um, he's a good fighter. Um, different style, Lianto. He comes forward, he's aggressive. Um, but I think that'll suit Anto. And I think once Anto starts nailing him, one of the hardest punchers I've ever been hit, hit by. Um, record doesn't really suggest it, but I, I know what, it, what his power is like. And I think someone like Magnesi will, will suit him. Outside of this event, obviously we've got the AJ Fury talks. You know, is this the last roll of the dice for that fight? I, I don't know. Who knows? It's um, it's heavy with boxing and, and different things happen. At, at, yeah, things things will happen at different times. Um, I think that it's went a little bit quiet in the last few days, which is probably a good sign. I don't think that's a bad sign. Hopefully the guys are all working behind the scenes to get things done, um, and it will be an honour for me to work on a fight of of such magnitude. Thanks for the boxing social call.